Varsha and you are watching this video from JustTutors.com. In this video, we are going to learn about decimal expansions of real numbers. But before moving to our today's topic, we will try a warm-up question. Here is a warm-up question for you. To try this warm-up question, you can pause the video. So as you can see that in this question, you need to give two examples of a rational number. So the answer is under root 2 and under root 3. Now we move ahead and we are going to find out how to write 10 over 3 as decimal expansion where 10 is the numerator and 3 is the denominator. So we put 10 as a dividend here and 3 as a divisor here. Now we look at how many 3 goes into 10 which is 3. So we put the 3 on the top and 3 times 3 is 9 and 10 take away 9 is 1. So the remainder is 1. Now how many 3 goes into 10 again? And we, as we, you can see that here we can put the 0. So here is a decimal for that. Now how many 3 goes into 10 which is 3 again and 3 times 3 is 9 and 10 take away 9 is 1 again. So we'll put 1 here and the 0 here now will how many 3 goes into 10 again which is 3 again. So as you can see that the steps are repeating so 3 times 3 is 9 and the remainder is 1. Now again how many 3 goes into 10 which is 3 and we put the 9 here as 3 times 3 is 9 and 10 take away 9 is 1. So the, since the steps are repeating so we can write it as 3.333 and this 3 keep on repeating again and again. So we can say this is a non-terminating recurring decimal expansion of real number and we can write it as 3.3 bar. Now we move ahead and now we are going to learn how to write 3 quarter as a decimal expansion where 3 is the numerator so we put 3 as a dividend here and 4 is the denominator so 4 is a divisor here. Now how many 4 goes into 3 which is 0 so we put a 0 here and then we put a decimal and put a 0 here. Now how many 4 goes into 30 so the nearest is 7 so 4 times 7 is 28 and 30 take away 28 is 2 so we put remainder as a 2 here. Now we'll look at how many 4 goes into 20 now which is 5 so we put the 5 on the top and 20 here now the remainder is 0 and since the remainder is 0 so we can say this is a terminating decimal expansion and the answer is 0 0.75. Now we move ahead and we are going to learn how to write 16 over 45 as a decimal expansion where 16 is the dividend and 45 is the divisor. Now how many 45 goes into 16 which is 0. So we put a 0 and the decimal here and the 0 here. Now we look at how many 45 goes into 160. The nearest is 135 at 3. So we put the 3 on the top and 135 here. Now 160 take away 135 which is 25. And then we put a 0 here. Now how many 45 goes into 250 which is nearest is 5. So 45 times 5 is 225 and 250 take away 225 is 25 again. Then we put a 0 again. Again 45. How many 45 goes into 250 which is 5 and 45 times 5 is 225 the remainder is 25 again as you can see that the remainder is keep on repeating so we can say this is 0 0.3555 and so on so we can write it 0 0.3 as 5 is repeating so we put a bar here and we can say this is a non-terminating recurring decimal expansion now we move ahead and here are some practice questions for you to try these practice questions you can pause the video now here comes the answer of the practice questions. You can match the answer and I must say that you should pat your back as you are working really well in understanding how to find out the decimal expansions of real number. Thank you for watching the video. For more please visit justtutors.com.